Hello and welcome back to My Money Matters and back to a non-Christmassy desk spread today. Thank you for joining me on my channel. My name's Esther. My channel is to make me accountable with my budget and my hope is to inspire others to see the benefit of saving and cash stuffing. It's been nearly a year since I've done this, so um, it's working. Today I'm going to do my check-in, restuff my purse, stuff my cash challenges and talk to you about my spends and Christmas. So I hope you've had a lovely Christmas. I know some people have been poorly and have had issues with animals and all sorts going on but I hope you've managed to have somewhat of a nice Christmas. I had a lovely Christmas. It was just a really nice balance. Um, we tend to stay up at my in-laws which is lovely. It feels like home to home and um, yeah everybody had a lovely time and the presents were spot on this year and it just worked out really nicely. Um, we do tend to shop from each other's Amazon lists and can I just say it makes a big difference to be able to um, get things that you actually want or need and um, it's a great way of being able to budget as well with your spending. Anyway, let's get into the check-in for this week. So December has been a bit more of a spendy month than previous months, shall we say, but uh, all within budget. So let's have a look, a closer look at what we've got here. So on the 22nd of December, um, holiday money was spent on my eldest son and I. I promised him for a long time I'd take him on a mum son date. So I took him to Weatherspoons and we had a Weatherspoons breakfast. And then miscellaneous was on some vitamin E capsules. The nurse advised to put it on my scar on my knee to help that improve. So I thought I'd top up on a few more of those. And then in another shop, I bought some Balti mix. Now, I think I prefer Bombay mix. Uh, it does have a different taste. <laughs> 1425 was put in the charity shop. Now, this might sound a lot, but for my 1425, I got myself a denim jacket. I was so pleased because I've been wanting one and I missed out on one that I saw in Sainsbury's early in the year. But this one fits even better and I uh, I love it. So I'm pleased that I managed to get my denim jacket. I think it was £7.50. So then I also got some pyjama bottoms. I got a onesie for my son. Unfortunately, it didn't fit him, but it was only about £3. I got a lovely toadstool ornament and a lovely pair of spotty earrings. And then the gifts was for some more charity purchases, but it was for other people, so I took it out of gifts. So a raincoat for my dad and a pair of lovely M&S linen trousers for my mother-in-law. 75p on holiday, I've not highlighted it, uh, my husband was making some rock cakes and ne we needed some cupcake cases so I bought some of those. Now my dad paid me back for his raincoat <laughs> and then I had to get some more medicine just before Christmas, annoyingly, but um, that's that's life. Uh, obviously Christmas Day was a no spend, I think hopefully for a lot of people it was a no spend unless you're um, sales shopping. Monday, £4.03 was on some um, star paper, which was from the card factory, which was, it was half, uh, it was 50% off, but I, I don't know quite why the odd number of £1.28 came up. But anyway, so this, yeah, this very generic star paper, and I thought, even if I don't use it at Christmas, I can use it all year round. And you know what, I've been looking out for wrapping paper and I can't find Christmas wrapping paper because this is when I normally buy it. Normally I buy too much of the same one. Uh, but, but this year I'm genuinely running out and want to buy some more. And the shops just don't have them. So if you know anywhere that's got some cheap wrapping paper, let me know. And then my bargain was for a fabric advent calendar. Now I've tried, we didn't do anything this year, but last year I've got these little knitted stockings that I put sweets in for the boys. And I found this advent calendar stashed in the shelf at Wilco's. And uh, it took a little time to find out how much it was, whether it was 50% off. Anyway, we found out that the original price was £20. So I thought, oh, is it going to be £10? And I was thinking, I don't think I really want to spend £10 pounds on um, a fabric advent calendar as lovely as it is it still sounds a bit expensive and more than what I want to pay for it anyway they then managed to find where it was supposed to be located on the shelf took the barcode scanned it 
and it came up at two pounds. I was so pleased and I'm sure it will um, last for years to come. So quite excited about that. Um, so that was my bargain. Oh, I also got some washi tape, Christmas washi tape from um, Wilco's as well for 75p. Then pound eighty went to Asda and they'd reduced down their chocolate. <laughs> so the Cadbury Snowball Bars were reduced. I got four of those, one for each member of the family. I got some chocolate fingers and some Italian biscuits and it only came up to pound eighty. So you can imagine how cheap everything was. So that was good. Uh, Tuesday it was a no spend. Then Wednesday my phone bill came out. I rounded off the three last digits in my bank account. Fifty pounds on gifts. This was to a family member um, to help towards contributing to um, some accommodation and some food. So that came out of gifts. So money to come out of my purse if I've got any left. I'm also going to show you. One of my Christmas presents that I got. Again, it was on my um, Amazon list. So pennies in my pocket has got ten. Miscellaneous has got nothing. Charity, of course, has got nothing. Family, friends, fun, food and film has got 15 left. Giving gifts has nothing. This it was a lovely file of facts, a zip purse. And I thought the colour went really well in my... Um, with my Safiano purse and this is just a great extra place to keep some change or receipts or bits and bobs. So you've got the zip pocket at the front here, I thought it'd just be really handy to have an extra pocket. I wasn't sure if it was going to be able to fit in here, um, but I'm pleased to say it does fit. So, and I don't have, the rest of these aren't zipped, zipped wallets, so that fits in nicely. Really pleased with that. Not cheap, but a really nice accessory for my purse. So I'm going to refill my purse for the week and we've got £55 in here, 10, 20, 30, 40, 55. Uh, pennies in my pocket is going to get 10. Maybe miscellaneous is going to get 5. Um, charitable causes. Hmm got to try and split these so I think I'm going to just put 10 in giving gifts I'm going to put 10 in family friends food and food because I've also got a hyper jar for that so I'm going to put 20 into charitable causes for now and I might swap that around um we'll see but that's it for that this change I'm going to put in my tin and then we're going to see if we can distribute this rollover money. Oh, the other thing I got for Christmas was um, the, a cracker and inside it had this um, keyring <laughs> with my initial on it and a matching pen. So you might have seen on my other binder, it's got the H, so now I've got the E and the H, which is nice. Uh, I'm going to skip battleships today. Or am I? Yes, I am, because I want to put a 10 in there. Um, be savvy. I might just, you know what, I might just change this as I go. Let's see if I've got any, I've got some pound coins in here. Got one, two, three. I've got four. So let's just complete this row. One, two, three, four. Good. Wafty, wafty. So then today is the 29th. Wow, is this the 12th? Adding another four pounds, which would make it 76. Is that right? Four, five, six, 76. Saved and 24 to go. This is, um, it's even made a little hole in the side here, but I'm just going to keep saving these pound coins in here until it can take it. 
<laughs> so that's the B Savvy. I've gone and written down what I was going to put in each, but I'm changing my mind as I go now. So I know I want to put 10 into the 365 challenge. So I'm going to stick that in my tin. Actually, let's do that now because let's not complicate matters. I've got loads of change and my boys have given me some change as well. So let me just sort this out. So I've got my ten pounds. One, two, three, four. Add the four. Add eighty p. Fourteen eighty. Right. Uh, penny. Where are you? Yeah, she comes flying in. Okay, fourteen eighty. Let's just get rid of this change into penny. My son had loads of five p for some reason. Don't know why. Right, let's see what we can do with this at 1480. Take away 275. Take away 274. Take away 273. Take away 272. Take away 271. Oh, good. Finished a row. Okay, £1.15, which I can do. Cool. Right, let's get that dry with a wafty wafty. Get in there. I just want to need to get past these. These are still quite high numbers. Almost, th you know, more towards £3. So I'm trying to still cash inject this. So what have I got left? I've got the £15 left. So... I could put a tenner in the battleships. I really want to start my wafty wafty challenge, but I'm going to hold out. Uh, I think I'll do battleships. I wasn't going to, but um, let's let's do this one. Um, we'll go for the middle, which is D3. Let's make sure you can see what I'm doing here. D3 and E3. So I've got a 10 in there, and this is to go towards my son's Rubik's Cube competition. So the registration is in January, if I can get into this, and the registration is £30. So we've now got 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, £50 in there, because I no doubt there'll be added costs involved with that. So five pounds left and that's going to go into number 96 envelope. I was hoping to put more in these envelopes but it's just about what's left over after doing all the challenges. So um, it's better to stuff it with something rather than nothing. And even if I did five pounds a week, that's, you know, that will all add up. So, that's to go into the piggy jar, and another one to go in. There's something really exciting about putting in the jar. <laughs> so, like I said, I do want to start my wafty wafty challenge, and I've decided this is going to go towards a um oh the name's gone out of my head a cricket 
So I think each shape is going to represent either five or ten pounds. So I'm not going to bust a gut. I'm just going to see what I can put in there. So like I said, I don't want to keep starting new challenges. I want to be able to have enough to spread across the others. Um, so I'm just taking my time with it all. Thank you so much for watching along and please don't forget to give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already. You can hit that bell to get future notifications of videos that come up. I love reading your comments so please be sure to leave me one below and I'll try and get back to you when I can. I hope you have a fantastic day. Enjoy the rest of your Christmas break if you are on a break. Take care, God bless and happy cash stuffing. I'll catch you next time on My Money Matters.